previously. Oh, Milkshakes. A major shakeup in the competition. Oh. Drop the judges. In the thick of it. And then, a southern classic. Chicken and waffle. Meant the end of the road. It's pretty bland. For Grayson. The chicken's still quite pink in here. And Lindsay. Good job, guys. Tonight. This is the biggest team challenge we have ever had. The top 20 oh my God. are in for a major commitment. A wedding? As they join together. 75 guests. Are we mad? How are they going to do it? In a team challenge. I need that lamb. Lamb, lamb. For better. Look at us up. Or for worse. I wouldn't even serve that to my freaking bulldog. This lamb is still alive. in the top 20. When I was very little, my family got only carry up. Hi, guys. I started cooking my own food because I was sick of all the greasy and over fatty food. And now I'm the best cook in my grade. Welcome back, everybody. Food to me is art. I'm really good at making my food look really pretty, just like me. I always wear bows in my hair. If it's like a sad day or if it's just a normal, ordinary day, I will always wear a bow. A bow. A bow. Not called a ribbon. It's called a bow. Now, it's time to begin your first big team challenge. You excited? Yes, yeah, chef! Yeah. Cade and Ariana, because you had the best dishes in our last challenge, you will be our team captains. Please come join us up here. I think I'm going to make a great captain. But the thing I'm nervous about myself is I try to stay nice as possible because I don't want people to get upset. And that sometimes can affect your leadership skills. So there's a lot of weight in my back. Please put on your aprons. Back in Minnesota, my sister and I were captains of a team that raises money to help kids with cancer and their families. And I'm a very extroverted person. I love being around other people. So I can definitely lead this team to victory. Cade, because you officially won the last challenge, you're going to get first pick for your team. This person is solid at everything he does, Evan. My strategy for picking my team is I'm trying to pick people that are very relaxed in the kitchen, people that will stay in control and not freak out. Ariana. I'm picking Remy. <laughs> Of course, stress is going to come our way. Sammy. Go right, Sammy. let's go, Sammy. We're all going to get nervous at some point. Olivia. And everyone needs to be in control of themselves. Sophia. Right, Ariana, right, next pick. Benny. Being a captain of the blue team is like being a captain on a ship. Gracie. If this ship goes down, it's my fault. Pierce. I want to make sure that I pick a group of people that are really strong chefs. Kwani but I also want them to be able to listen and take criticism and work well with other people. Emily. Yay. Let's go. Ben. Ben, welcome to the red team, which means, Mackenzie, come up and get your blue apron, please. Thank you. Everybody that's on my team is really cooperative, but what I'm scared about is me because I'm not really good under pressure. Oh ah! Thank you. Right, now that you know who you're working with, are you ready to find out what exactly you're going to be doing? Guess what? 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 I'm not telling you. Oh! We're not going to tell you the challenge yet, but we do need to get going because we cannot be late for this one. Let's go. Well, let's go, guys. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. It's so mysterious and big. Wherever we're going, it's going to be super fun and awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. farms like this before. It's so green. You see all these different colors in rows, and you see the tractors and all of the veggies. It's amazing. Oh 
Let's go, guys. Oh, my God. That's yes. awesome. All right, go up there and line up. Welcome. Oh, my goodness. I'm seeing beautiful flowers, and there are these white chairs, and there's an aisle. Come on over. I feel like love is in the air. I've got a good sense of what we're going to do today. Now, I'm sure you've all guessed by now, you're here for a very, very special occasion. Yes! Yes! And it's not to harvest vegetables out in those fields, that's for sure. Now, we may be at a farm, but today, we have two very special guests to tell you about your next challenge. Come on in, guys! Welcome. Home cooks, say hello to Whitney and Sam. Hi! Any guesses what Whitney and Sam are gonna do today? You're getting married! <laughs> That's right, they're getting married. <laughs> and you guys are responsible for the food. What? Oh my gosh! While Sam and Whitney are saying, I do, you are going to be cooking the wedding dinner for all 75 guests. This is the biggest MasterChef Junior team challenge we have ever had. Do us proud. A wedding? <laughs> A wedding is the most important day of somebody's life. We better not mess this up. Whitney, Sam, tell us, what have you chosen to be on the menu today? We both love halibut and rack of lamb. So that's what we'd like for you guys to cook for us today. No. Yeah. Nice. Whitney, Sam, now before we let you go get ready for your big day, anything else you want to say to these young home cooks? Yep. We know that all of you kids are between 8 and 13, but our family and friends and all guests don't know that you're cooking for them today. We thought we'd let that be a huge surprise. Oh, oh my gosh. Sam, are you excited? I am. Thank you for trusting us. Fingers crossed, it's all going to go to plan. So look forward to seeing you later. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Now, we're going to get feedback from all of the wedding guests about your dishes today, especially our bride and groom, who will be tasting both teams' dishes. But ultimately, the decision on which team wins and which team loses will come down to the three of us. The winning team will be safe and move forward in the MasterChef Junior competition. And unfortunately, we'll have to say goodbye to two members of the losing team. Now, before you fire up your stoves, I'm going to show you how to perfect two amazing entrees that will really make this wedding go off with a bang. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. I'm going to get into my chef wise, and I'll meet you all in the kitchen. Let's go. I have been to a bunch of weddings, and the food at the weddings have always been fantastic. And today, we're going to prove that kids can do it, too, by nailing catering this wedding. Now, the two dishes on the menu today are stunning rack of lamb set on the most amazing butternut squash with fresh Granny Smith apples, and then butternut squash puree with toasted pumpkin seeds finished with a lovely fresh sage running through it. Yeah. Then the halibut, lightly dusted in seasoned flour, served on a bed of roasted cauliflower with asparagus with a nice, light, fragrant curry oil. Right. OK, rack of lamb. In, down. Now we're going to get a nice sear on there. What does searing the meat do to the lamb? What, what happens? It adds colour. And no colour means? No flavour. Thank you. Then from there, butter. Tilt the pan and we baste. That goes into the oven at 400 degrees for 12 minutes. Write it down, please. 400. Now, the halibut. Roll it gently in the flour. Fish goes in. Colour the fish and then turn it over. From there, what's that? Time. Put it in and then we baste. I am watching Gordon Ramsay's every move because these dishes are really, really specific. And this moment is what's going to help us win or lose the challenge. Now, once the lamb has cooked for the second time, I take that out and I sit that on my board. Let it rest. I don't slice it straight away. Why not? You'll lose yeah. it. You'll lose all the juice, exactly that. Let's plate up the lamb first, shall we? Take your butternut squash puree, one big spoon of that in the middle, and then you take the back of your spoon and you come in like that. We've got our apple and our butternut squash with a fresh sage, mm. OK? All you need to do is bring it together in the pan and lightly roast it. You put that on the left-hand side. Now, 
I'm going to take that lamb. I'm going to slice it into two. Sit the lamb on the garnish. Take your sauce, and you just lightly sauce over the lamb. And there we have our beautiful, oh my God. amazing lamb. Wow. Now, the halibut. Cauliflower puree on into the center. Take your cauliflower that's been lightly roasted. You sit the cauliflower beautiful. at 9 o'clock. Halibut on top of that. the oh, cauliflower. Beautiful. And then from there, the asparagus. And then finally, we have this beautiful curry oil here. Drizzle that oil around there. And that is our second dish today, a pan-roasted halibut. Woo! Oh, my gosh. Go Ramsey. Why are you putting us in charge of a wedding? Some of us are eight years old. Red Team, Blue Team, we want nothing short of culinary perfection. Yes, yes chef. chef! It's just going to be absolute mayhem. Red Team, Blue Team, we want nothing short of culinary perfection for the wedding entrees. Yes, yes chef. Now, Joe's going to give you a whole lesson on the front of the house. But listen carefully. So this is a little bit of a lesson on how restaurants work. You get a ticket. That's what you call an order. It's called a ticket. I always give everything a short name. So this is going to be called a rack and a halley. So on an A-top, for example, I have eight people sitting on it. That's called eight covers. Joe, that's nine on there. <laughs> oh, it's nine? Sorry. <laughs> So on this table, I'm ordering five racks, three Hallies. Joe has very bad handwriting. It looks like a five-year-old wrote it. I come in, I say, pick up five racks, three Hallies. What do you say? Yes, yes No, Joe. you do not say yes, Joe. You repeat the order back to me. This is like military style. OK, you ready? Let's try it again. Picking up five racks, three Hallies. Picking up five racks, three Hallies. Voila. Cooking is one thing. Today, you have a lesson in accountability and timing. It has to be fast, it has to be hot, and it has to all come out together, OK? Yes, Joe! Yes, no. Is everybody ready to get started? Yes, Joe! Yes. Your 60 minutes prep starts now. Oh, Let's go. Go, guys. Come on, guys. Go, 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 go. OK, me and Anthony are doing lamb. Then Benny and Remy are doing fish. And then for the sides, we're going to have Emily and Mackenzie. And then for the plating, everybody else. Everybody, roger that. Thumbs up if you guys yeah, understand. Yeah. I'm running a really tight ship. 60 minutes is not a lot of time to prep our dishes. And I want to make sure that everybody knows exactly what they're supposed to do. And Ariana, should we have somebody to cut the lamb? The only people that know how long it's been resting is the lamb, so the lambs are going to cut it. Nobody so everybody, everyone, if you're not on lamb duty, lay off the lamb. It's really important that people don't go into different stations because I know that everybody in their position is going to do the best job where they are. One, two, three, three. All right, let's go, go. The people on Halibut, I want Sophia and Henry. On Lamb Chop, I'm going to need Sammy and Gracie. Got it. I've never cooked a rack of lamb before, and the main proteins are the big star of the dish. I'm feeling so much pressure right now. Plating the halibut, Evan and Avery, then plating for the lamb chop, Campson and Kwani working together. Ben and I are going to be helping with the sides, keeping them ready. Kate put me on sides. I want to cook for lamb. Back in Gary, Indiana, I barbecue, and we know meat. I'm not being used for what I should be used for, so I don't feel good about this challenge at all. All right, guys, we got this. One, two, three. Ready! Ready! All right. Wow, well, this is a big one. Now, our guests are arriving as we speak. We have two incredible individuals sharing their most important day of their lives with eight to 13-year-olds. Come on, are we mad? I think the teams are stacked. Ten on each team. They're feeding half of the 75 guests apiece. If I was staffing for a 75-person banquet, I'd had like eight professional line cooks, four dishwashers, two prep cooks, sure. two expediters. How are they going to do it? Season high. Hands up like that. To the sky! Yes! Like that. Good. OK. We just have to worry about the food, not the marriage, just the food. I had 300 guests at my wedding at the Cafe Royale. There must have been about 299 of them all chefs. An amazing prawn cocktail, fantastic ribeye, and then this beautiful baked roll tart for dessert. Food that's was excellent. Gorgeous. Amazing. But that's what a wedding is all about, right? It's about creating the most beautiful, most memorable day yep. around the food and the beverage that is being served to these guests. 
Oh my God, be careful, be careful. The dishes have to be cooked properly, the temperatures have to be right, tables have to come out complete. I need to be able to walk into that dining room with tables fully fed of beautiful food or else there's gonna be hell to pay. Now that Whitney and Sam have joined themselves to each other through their vows, I do now pronounce that they are husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and welcome Mr. and Mrs. Coyne. <laughs> All right, guys, we got this, we got this. Put some more asparagus in there, great. Right, red team, captain, talk to me, come here. Who's cooking the lamb? Who's serving off the lamb? It's going to be Gracie and Sammy. Right, stop. Avery, why are you cooking asparagus? Um, I'm happy. No, they're cooked. And what's this? Roll oh, lamb. What's most important? Me, me, me. So why are we cooking asparagus? Mistake, chef. Kate, concentrate, get your head in the game. All of you, wake up. Red team, we need to get this lamb seared and in the oven. The congregation is sitting down in five minutes. Let's go. Two lambs each pan. Got it? Any lamb. Okay. There you go, Sammy. As a captain, I'm supposed to keep everyone organized, and I get that. Where are the herbs? OK, herbs right here. But my brain just has so many things rushing through it. Timing is definitely off. Ben, you're on the sides. All right, be, be nice to do the lamb chops. The communication's off, and I just really have to take control. Hi, Ben! All right, y'all keep it up, guys. Keep it up. What is this? We don't need this right now. Let's take it off. Put it back in the pan. Put it back in there. Being a team captain of a team of 8 to 13-year-olds is a little chaotic. Ariana, should we make all five halibuts um, per pan right now? No. Ariana, we practiced our swirls. How's that look? Perfect. Ariana, what do you want me to do? Everybody is running around crazy. People are doing their own thing. Ariana, you have to help me. Try to start the halibut. Not yet. Ariana! 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 It needs to be butter based. Not now. Ariana needs to start communicating more and stepping up her game. Everybody stop. Come over here now. Guys, stop. Everything on. you're doing. I don't care. Come over here now. Who is cooking the halibut? Us. Oh, and get to your station. Who is plating? I'm plating. Then go over there. Ariana. Stay at your station. Once you're at your station, you do not move. Understood? Yes, yes chef. chef. Ariana, do you know what you're doing now? Yes, Chef. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Wedding day has been fabulous so far. I've known Whitney since I was like two, so it's everything I ever dreamed of for her. But uh, I'm starving. Knowing it's Gordon Ramsay in the kitchen, I'm expecting really good food. <laughs> the weather is incredible. Our guests are incredible. The ceremony was just perfect for us, and hopefully it continues on into a glorious evening. All right, guys, everyone listen up. Red team, blue team. The bride and groom are now married. Let the service begin. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, guys. All right. Let's go, guys. This is good. Go. This is good. Okay, Start go. putting the spoosh on, guys, OK? Blue team, first ticket in, the bride and groom. One halibut, one lamb. Yes, one chef. halibut, one lamb. Yes, chef. How long, please? Um, like five minutes. Maximum. Yeah. Let's go. All right. If we mess up the bride and groom's table, this is going to be really bad because this is the most important day of their life. This is a really pressure-filled moment right now. Guys, we're looking good. I need it, All right, red team, first order in. It's for the bride and groom. One halibut, one lamb. One okay. halibut, one, one lamb. lamb. We are cooking for 75 people, and they have no idea that we are kids cooking for a wedding. And I just really want to show them that we can pull it off. Hallie's in, Hallie's in. Here comes lamb. Keep talking, keep communicating. Come on, come on. Lamb cooked beautiful. Halibut, where is it, please? This one's good. That's it. Service, please. Perfect. Good job. Guys, the blue team's food is up. I need this food now. Get the red wine vinaigrette on it. Is that good, Kate? Can that go? Yeah, that can go. Super. All right, first table walking. First table done. All right, two down, 73 to go. Hi. Hello, 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 oh, hello. Me. Goodness. Okay, from the blue team, this is the halibut, 
and the rack of lamb. And this is the halibut from the red team. And this is the rack of lamb from the red team. Mm. Visually, any preferences? I like both presentations. You I like, like both of them. This has a bit oh, more asparagus. Nice. I like that. All right, let's have a taste, and I'll come back and check in with you. Awesome. Enjoy. Thank you Wonderful. so much. Thank you. We are excited. All right, blue team, next up, you're firing for table nine. Four halibut, four lamb. Four halibut, four lamb. Halibut ready in five minutes. Lamb ready in five minutes. I'm learning as I go, and I'm using everything I learned from the beginning and from the prep to get better during the cook. Go, 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 go. I'm making sure that everybody knows exactly what they're doing. I'm quality control, double, triple check that everything's coming out perfectly, and it is. You give me that lamb, give me that lamb. Oh, cook good, yeah. cook perfect. You got lamb. Okay, the halibut's done. Thank you guys, this is cooked perfectly. All right, service please. Good job guys. Next order, three lamb, two halibut. Three lamb, three lamb two, two halibut. halibut. Table eight, let's go. Let's do this. Ooh. Red team, who gave me this lamb? Ben did, Jack. Me. Ben! Put the lamb down. What are you doing? Cutting the lamb. Yeah, look. Look what you've done. You've cut it all right. Oh, my God, Ben. What are you doing? This is the exact opposite of what I wanted to happen. Gordon Ramsay is getting really intense. Hey, red team, look at what I'm sending out. I've seen door wedges more appetizing. I wouldn't even serve that to my freaking bulldog. Everybody, take your aprons off. Serious, I'll cook, and you can go pick some grapes. Everybody, take your aprons off. Serious, I'll cook, and you can go pick some grapes. Should we do it that way? No, Chef! I want to get it together. Yes, Chef! Yes. 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 You, get on lamb. You, on the garnish. Stay away from the lamb. Let's go. Yes, Chef. I can tell that Ben wanted a bigger role, but he's got to understand that each person on a team has a huge role. If a goalie never gets a ball shot to him in a game, it doesn't mean that he was an unimportant player. You have to have a goalie on the team. This is a team effort, and everyone's got to do their job. Next table, Captain. Three lamb, two halibut. Five minutes to window. Three lamb. Two halibut. Kate, I'm bringing two lamb. Okay. All right, guys, let's get it back together. Get it back together. I'm cutting this lamb, and I'm really making sure it's perfect. Come on, guys, let's rebound. Everybody at their station is communicating well. How's that lamb chop going? It looks perfect on the side. It's going good. How long, halibut? A minute. One minute. And we're finally starting to gain our rhythm. Who cooked this fish here? Henry. Beauty done. Thank you. I need the lamb, guys. The halibut's here. Great, dude. We got this. We got this. Good boy. Service, please. Well done. Beautiful. Look at us up! Great job, guys. Wow. That's really good. So what do we think? Any observations on the flavor of seasoning? Yeah, the red team salivate. Sauce is a little bland. Yeah. Allie's almost done. The puree was... The puree was a little bland on this one compared okay. to that one. So the blue team halibut was seasoned better? The blue team is way more flavor. Remy, Benny, beautiful cook on that halibut, ladies. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. OK, as far as the rack of lamb, blue or red team? I'd say red team. Red I team? I would say red yeah. team. Why? Better yeah. flavor, better cook? Here was just too sloppy, too much sauce? Yeah, but the inside of the blue teams is not medium rare. It's a little bit raw. Yeah, it's a little raw and it's a little tougher. All right, thanks for letting us know. Keep on eating, enjoy. I'll come back and check back with you in just a moment. Right. Wonderful, thank cheers. you. Okay, cheers. Yeah. To you. Mackenzie, more cauliflower. Where's the cauliflower, please? Right here. Let's go. Mackenzie, are you sure it has these here. portions? No, no. How many portions am I asking for, Mackenzie? Six. How many portions is that enough for? One. I need more cauliflower, Mackenzie, for six. Come on, get some more in, please. Yes, sir. That's enough for one. We're cooking for 75 people. And nobody even knows that we're 8 through 13. I'm under so much pressure right now. Come on, these people are hungry. They got to eat. Everybody's yelling, Mackenzie! We need more cauliflower. I know. I just don't know what to do. The rest of this food is dying out here, waiting for that cauliflower. Come on, hurry up. 
Mackenzie, are you okay? Mm. Yeah, come here. Talk to me, what's wrong? I'm not used to being under so much pressure. I'm not used to being under so much pressure as well. <laughs> come on, who's getting married? Whose big day is it? Um, Sammy and um, Whitney's. How important is this lunch for them? Really important. And one day you're going to grow up and get married. You know that. That's going to be an amazing day. And think back to this moment when that day happens. It's going to be an extraordinary day. Take a big, deep breath and come back twice as strong. So can you do that for me? And if you're not too sure, ask me a question. I'm there to help. Okay. So let's just dry our tears. Let's come back in there and let's come in strong, OK? And get some water, big, deep breath, and get back on your section. Let's go. I feel really happy that Gordon Ramsay gave me that talk. I should really just step it up and just act stronger and not act so much like a baby. Kenzie, you got this, OK? No more stress. Let's go. Push it through. Red team, next table's in. Table number two, six lamb, two Hallie. Six lamb, six lamb two, two Hallie. Hallie! Get on it. Someone else needs to be helping Sammy. Gracie, you're on lamb two. I'm going to get burned. It's hard to cook lamb. I'm done. You can take them both. Just take them both. This is so hard. The lamb job has to be cooked perfectly, and I am horrible at this. I can't be the only one basing no. lamb. Gracie has abandoned me on the lamb. Clearly, I know how to make lamb, but I'm not getting the help and support from my teammates that I need. Give me another one. You guys got to get that lamb out fast. I wish I didn't put Gracie, a nine-year-old, on lamb. Lamb's a big deal. You have to get a certain amount of lamb chops in a certain amount of time. And if you only have one person on there, everything could go wrong. Sammy, you got to move on that. I need that lamb. Yes, chef. Hello, folks. So this is the blue team will cook for you. Any opinions? What do you think about the halibut? The way that they mix the butter and the curry with the cauliflower, the blend was really, really nice. And the rack of lamb? Rack of lamb's excellent. The cook is really nice, nice seasoning. The blue team did great. So is this like restaurant quality food? Like if you went to a professionally catered wedding, are we at that level? Yes. Two minutes. The blue team is working like a well-oiled machine. We're cruising towards that finish line, and we're unstoppable now. Three lambs and two hallies. Nice job, guys. Hi, folks. Hi, I'm Joe. How are you all? Good, everybody. Good. So you have the red team cooking for you guys. How are the dishes? What do you think? I honestly love the meat. This is fantastic. Yeah. Yes, uh, delicious. Literally no bad thing to say. Great. Good job on the lamb. Beautifully done. You're doing great, Sammy. You're doing so good. I couldn't ask for anything better than Sammy on the lamb right now. Six halibut, two lamb, yes? Six halibut, two lamb. Thank you, Sammy. Good boy. So I had the blue team's rack of lamb. I thought the lamb was a little bit overcooked. I expected medium rare. came out a little bit more medium well. All right, blue team, you have two more tables left. Let's make them count. Yes, sir. This is the red team's uh, rack of lamb that I'm trying, and it's just spot on. It's cutting right off the bone just the way that I like, and each taste is ideal. Watch out. That pan is hot. Hot herb. We got this, guys. Keep going. Hi, folks. So you have the blue team. Uh-oh, is there a problem? Yes. This piece is, oh is a little raw. It's like cold raw. OK, let me take it back. Thank you. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Blue team. I have a blue team rack of lamb that's completely raw. Oh, no. Blue team, Anthony, Ariana, up front here. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Raw lamb. Guys, this is unacceptable. This is somebody's wedding. This lamb is still alive. It's cold. Who is responsible for this? Uh, one of us. I thought we were doing so good, but this is not good for the blue team. That's not good enough. Come on, guys, blue team. Guys, this is unacceptable. This is somebody's wedding. This lamb is still alive. It's cold. Come on. That's not good enough. Plate up another lamb right away. Guys, you got to get your heads in the game. Oh, no. Anthony, Ariana, step it up. 
This is what I was dreading. Like, I can't be out there apologizing. I'm going to steal this one from this ticket. Okay, finish it. Come on, Mikey, let's do it. Come on. Ariana, I'm stealing a lamb from this table to make up for the one that I just got sent back, all right? So you're dragging one lamb. This lamb is walking to finish table seven. Our helmets are getting cold. The pressure is on right now, and I have to cook this so quick. Otherwise, the halibut that's already in the window is going to die. I feel like it was my fault that I let that lamb out, and I owe it to my team to get this done. Come on, pick up the pan! Red team, last table. Three lamb and five halibut. Yes! yes. Yeah. All right, we got this, guys. Make it our best one. We got this. Let's go. Give me some Hallie. Hallie is good. All right, great job, guys. Keep up. Lamb going. Two to three minutes. OK, Perfect. great, because that's our timing, too. As service is closing, everything looks great. Everything looks cooked right. And I realized that the blue team is still working over there. And it's really not how you start. It's how you finish. And I think we can win this one. Good job on the lamb. Beauty done. OK, service, guys. Let's go. That's enough. Perfect, guys. All right, red team, line up here. Hurry up. We made that way too difficult for ourselves. Cade, you've got to run your team. Gracie, I've got no idea what you're doing. Ben, why you did that to all the lamb, I'll never know. You need to be a team player. But Henry, Sophia, and Sam, well done. All of you, clear down. Get some water. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. That was by far the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. We just fed 75 people for a wedding. We did great, guys. Our service was like a roller coaster. It was up and down. But towards the end, it was smooth. So all in all, I feel pretty good. Let's go. Is this the last table, guys? Yes. Come on. I'm dragging Wait, one, one lamb. lamb here. Come on. Anthony, this table can't walk without the fifth <laughs> lamb. Everything's getting cold. Let's go. Oh, Come man. on. Mikey, lamb. Lamb is on. Come on. That's fine. They're up. They're up. You're They're good. Up. Let's go. Finish these up. Service, please. Five lamb, three halibut. Table 10. Great job, everyone. Blue team, come down to the front here for me. Yes, chef. That was not easy. It was not meant to be easy. It's a very tough challenge. Real world experience. You guys completed it. Get some water. Clean up your stations. Congratulations. Thank you. I feel a little bit torn right now. If that lamb didn't come back, I would be sure that the blue team would win. But now it's anybody's game. I just hope that our team did enough. How are we? Congratulations. Uh, congratulations. Thank you so much. Gorgeous. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, join us. Congratulations, the incredible couple, Miss and Mrs. Coy. Uh, amazing. <laughs> now, what I'm dying to know, did you enjoy your lunch? Yeah. Glad to hear it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, would you join us in saying thank you to the team of chefs that entered this competition as amateurs? I'd like you to give a huge round of applause for our chefs today, the red team and the blue team. Here they are. Let's go. This is just incredible. The wedding guests are in shock. And we just proved that kids can cater wedding. Ladies and gentlemen, your eyes do not deceive you. This is Master Chef Junior. Big hand of applause. Thanks. Guys. Now, guests, I can only assume that you have a few questions for these young home cooks now, seeing that they have just been the ones prepared your fabulous lunch this afternoon. What's the difference between learning in school and learning in the MasterChef kitchen? Learning in the MasterChef kitchen is fun. <laughs> I want to know, now that you're all done, what three words would you use to describe Gordon? No cursing. <laughs> Handsome, sort of. <laughs> Terrifyingly awesome. Terrifyingly awesome. <laughs> really, really nice. Uh... <laughs> 
Unfortunately, this is a competition. And even though both teams did a fantastic job this afternoon, there can only be one winning team. Oh, oh my gosh. I talked to all of the guests out there. We tasted all of the delicious food. I mean, every plate. And we saw how you work together as teams in the kitchen. The winning team uh. that will be safe from elimination. Oh, my gosh. And progress to the next stage of the competition. That team is... to be determined back in the kitchen. Oh! That's right. Joe, Christina, and myself need to sleep oh. on it. Now, teams, please say goodbye to our guests and give a huge congratulations to the bride and groom, huh? Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. Just such a wonderful experience. I'm just thrilled to marry the man of my dreams and thrilled that these amazing young chefs were able to whip up one of the tastiest meals we've ever had. Guys, you did a really good job. Introducing Camp Master Chef. This summer, kids and teens between 8 and 16 years old can join us for a fun-filled week of cooking, learning, team challenges, and surprise visits by contestants from the show. Go to CampMasterChef.com to learn more. Welcome back, guys. Line up, please. Let's go. I feel confident about the red team. We worked so hard, and we never got a dish sent back. So it would really stink if we didn't win this one. Good. This is the moment of truth right now. My heart is dancing around in my stomach. I mean, I really, really, really hope that our team did enough to win, because otherwise, I could be going home. Yesterday, you all faced your toughest challenge in this competition so far. We know it wasn't easy. Both teams had their ups and downs. But you came through in the end, and well done. But one team did go above and beyond. The organization was better. Plating was much more finessed. And they just had that edge. The winning team, the team that will be safe tonight. Congratulations. The blue team. <laughs> right, blue team. Even though you had one dish sent back, you guys were consistent. The proteins were cooked beautifully. Plates looked exemplary. More importantly, the guests loved your food. You're all safe. All of you, please, head up to the balcony. I'm so thankful for every member on the team. I'm so excited! I could not be a good team captain if they weren't all team players. And they all did an amazing job. I'm so proud of everybody. Can you still help me? Right, Red Team. We were let down with our communication. We got fragmented. Yes, we did finish strong. But for 60 to 70% of that challenge, we were not on the same page because you couldn't come together as a team. Eight of you will move forward in the competition, which means we will have to say goodbye to two of you. It wasn't easy, but we have reached a decision. If I say your name, please take one step forward. Kempson. Kwani. Avery. Evan. Sophia. Sammy. And finally, Henry. We decided that you did enough to keep your place in this competition. You're all safe. Head up to the balcony.
Cade, Gracie and Ben, we hate saying goodbye to any of you, but this is a competition and we've made our decision. It wasn't easy, based purely on yesterday's performance. Cade. Young man, you're safe. Yes, Chef. Head up to the balcony. Chef. Oh, dear. Gracie and Ben, look, um, that challenge yesterday got the better of you both, and unfortunately, both of you are out of your depth, and that is why. The journey across this incredible competition has now come to an end. But promise me both that you'll continue cooking. Ben? Yes, Chef. Gracie? Yes, Chef. Good girl. Thank you, Gracie. Thank you, Ben. Head out. Head up high. Masters of Junior has been one of the best times of my life here. I got to meet amazing friends, and it was a good opportunity to learn a lot more about cooking. It's awesome to have made it this far. We'll never forget you! I have done a lot in the last nine years of my life, but this was the best thing ever. How many kids get to say they make it into the top 20? I'm really proud of myself for everything I've done here, and today I get to go home and see my dog. Next week, the top 18 Sugar! Oh my God. Here we go! Are in for a sweet surprise. Tonight, you're stepping into my world. Oh no. And then. Boo! Oh, yeah. I like your dress! The trip around the globe. Mexico! America! Poland! Coming through! Delivers out of this world results. It scares me to think at the age of 12, you're this good. One potato, two potato.